So, in the last video, we had learnt about how to make comic book scene and represent it according to the animation scene. Now, in this part, this part, we will learn about how to convert a layer into 3D and the use of camera in After Effects. So, let's get started. Now, we already have this pre-composted layer. Let's convert it into 3D layer. If you can't find the 3D icon next to your layer, then click here on expand or collapse layer panel. Then also you don't get this icons, then click here on toggle switch. Now this is 3D icon. Just turn this on. Now we need to add a camera. Go to new and click camera. Here we still we are not able to use it in 3D. That's because we need to select the camera tool from here. Here you can see this is working. Let's animate the camera now. Turn on position key and point of interest under, under the transform menu. Okay, with left click on your mouse, you can rotate the camera angle and with right click you can make it zoom in and zoom out and with the middle mouse hold, you can drag this window in x and y direction. So let's adjust it as according to our need. Okay, I think this is good. Now place the time bar at 1 second and adjust it. Okay, let's take this as a scene I want to show first. Here you can see the change in values whenever we move the camera. So this is looking good. Let's move few frames forward and give it a little tilt so it won't look still. This is going very fast. Now to make it smooth or slow, select all these key and hold alt on your keyboard and drag the last key. This is move all the selected on timeline. Here you can see the preview. Okay, I want it fast in the starting and after get slow. Here the frames are going out of composition. So let's fix it by adding another key in between here. Now this looks good to me. Now at 6 seconds I want this to zoom out and move to this scene. This is ok. Let's select this keys and move it here and let's create new key at 6 seconds. And at 9 seconds rotate it like this. Here you can see the preview.
this is looking good to me now let's set the last key frame somewhat here let's zoom it out like this i am just creating only two scene animation so that you can get the idea of it you can make this with all scenes or for full book So here you can see the preview. This is looking good. Now let's move to the next part that is animating the within scene. Before that, let's add a dynamic background because this BG is not giving a good look. Here I have already downloaded the video for BG. Just drag and drop in the timer line. Scale it and put this over our solid BG. Let's decrease its opacity a bit. Now this is giving good look. You need to turn this volume off by clicking over here. Here you can see the preview. Now we can move to the scene animation. First, we need to see which scene is this or what is this scene name. Which scene is this or what is this scene name? Here you can check that the scene name is five dot psd. So let's go to our psd five and create all the layers separately. As a new PSD file, here I have already created the separate layers file. Here you can see that these all are in the different layers. You need to turn off all the layers and keep saving each layer as a different file. So here I have already done this. Now select all and drag them in project panel. And now we need to create new composition for this scene. Name it as scene five, and keep all settings as it is. So let's start by animating this layer. We will use puppet tool to animate the body parts of this character. Press U on the keyboard to see all the keys. Move the body a bit so that it looks like he is moving. Set the key as shown. You need to repeat the process two or three times. Here you can see the motion, but this is going too fast. We need to select the keys. And hold Alt on keyboard and drag the last key as according to your need. You can see the result. This is good now. Just hide this character for now and let's animate this lady. Again, select the puppet tool and set the keys as shown. If you want to delete any puppet key, 
then just select the key and press delete on your keyboard. Now press U to see all the keys. Let's move to one second and animate it as shown. Okay, so let's see the result. This is also moving fast. Let's select all the keys and drag the last key by holding the Alt on keyboard. Now let's see the preview. This is looking good now. And now animate this text. Adjust the anchor point somewhat like here. Now let's give it a scale animation. can see the result. This is looking slow. Let's keep this key over here. Now this is good. Now let's animate the background. Now let's animate the background also. Set animation on 6 seconds. This is good now. Go back to our comp 1. Now what we need to do is replace this PSD file with scene 5 comp. So delete this and drag the scene 5 here. Now let's adjust the scale Set its value to 34 and drag it to its original place. So here you can see this frame is in motion. Okay, I want to animate this character more like coming in the frame. So let's go back to scene 5 comp and set the position animation like this. Here you can see the preview. Now this is ok. Let's see the preview. Now this is good. So here we have done our one scene in animation. I think this is enough for this part. We will learn more about this in part 4. Also we will learn how to add gunfire and remove black or green screen from any video and more. I don't want this to come in motion this fast. Let's drag this layer like this. See you guys in part 4, guys in part 4 which will be our final part of this tutorial.